you are watching news with me Mehershik let's begin with the top headlines Shiv Sena Congress and NCP have finalized the draft of common minimum program after several consultations over the last 48 hours reportedly the joint CMP to feature issues like farm loan waiver review of crop insurance scheme unemployment among other things this draft cmp will now be sent to the party presidents of all three parties for a final stamp of approval home minister amit shah said that congress was running a sham campaign against the bjp on the rafale deal and had wasted valuable business hours in parliament and therefore should apologize to the nation Other uh, union ministers, including Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, welcomed the SC's verdict on the Rafale review petitions. Earlier in the day, the SC had dismissed the review petitions, calling for a court-monitored probe into the Rafale deal, saying it can't initiate a roving and fishing inquiry. Closing the contempt of court case against Rahul Gandhi, the Supreme Court said that Rahul Gandhi needs to be careful. In May, Rahul Gandhi had tendered an unconditional apology to the court for attributing the words "chokidar chore" here to the top court. Meanwhile, Congress slammed the BJP, saying that the Supreme Court verdict is not a victory for them as the court has not ruled out an independent probe into the deal. The Supreme Court has referred the Sabrimala review matter to a larger seven-judge bench. The court has, however, not put a hold on its earlier verdict, opening the gates of the temple to all women. Petitioners argued that the last year the court incorrectly concluded that the ban was on the menstruating women, but in fact they argued that the ban is in place due to the celibate nature of God Ayappa. Chief Sena Sanjay Raut said that PM Modi was not informed of the 50-50 power sharing deal by Amit Shah. He said if Modi was aware then the BJP and Chief Sena would have a government in Maharashtra. Raut said that they had heard Modi say Fadnavis will return as CM but did not object as they didn't see it as a political message to them. Meanwhile the BJP had discussions today with its 105 MLAs to give them a plan to work in their respective constituencies. BJP has fielded 13 of the 17 disqualified MLAs for the December 5 by polls in Karnataka. Earlier 16 disqualified MLAs from Karnataka joined the BJP at its state party headquarters. All rebel MLAs from Congress and JDS except Roshan Beg joined the BJP. The party needs to win at least 6 of the 15 seats to remain in power. India tore into park at a recent UNESCO meet over the latter's comment over Ayodhya and Kashmir calling it an interference into the internal affairs of India to create deliberately so chaos India said that Pakistan habitually makes a juvenile attempts to fabricate in lies and malign India India said it condemned the unwarranted comments by Pakistan Delhi air quality plunged deeper into the severe category on Wednesday prompting the government in Delhi and NCR to shut schools till Friday Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal also said that he may consider extending the odd even road rationing scheme if needed the government has sent advisories recommending people to stay indoors and work from home wherever feasible That's all for now stay tuned for more updates